Good morning, superhumans. How excited are we to be here this morning? Hey, bright and early. It is officially 9.03 a.m. and I'm three minutes late because I had to pee. And I just said that to Alana. I was like, hold on, give me two seconds. I need to pee. She's like, I always do that before a live. It's like totally fine. Um, oh, hold on. I'm inviting, I'm inviting. Okay, approving. Yeah, how freaking good are we? Hold on, give me two seconds. You guys know that um, this is a live interview this morning, which I'm so freaking excited about and just so grateful that Alana has said yes to do this. Um, and I'm just so, ex like, so beyond excited to introduce you to one of my beautiful girlfriends. Um, give me two seconds. I think it's adding you. While we're adding and while it's coming on. Hi, Matt. Hi, guys. Coming on now. Um, while it is, while the tech is working, you guys, fun drinking game for this video, drink or like skull every time I touch my hair. Like, I swear to God, you'll be drunk as by the end of this. <laughs> but my hair is just in that like awkward phase where it's like, um, hi, Laura. Hi, beautiful. My hair's in that awkward phase now where it's like too, like too much regrowth to actually get away with anymore. So I kind of just like do that thing. You know, girls, when you do that thing where you like, sweep it over the top of your head. Um, I'm going to introduce Alana really quickly, you guys. Oh, hold on. She's asking to be invited. Um, hold on. Okay. Alana Shagog is the beautiful mastermind behind the Lazy Girl Boss. And I'm so excited that she's agreed to come and be on with me this morning. We're going to be speaking about all things going live on social media. Um, obviously, if you want to grow a business in the 21st century, it's not essential. And I'm never going to preach that it is like it's something you have to do. But I know it's something that a lot of us really want to do. Like I know that going live on social media is one of those things that it's like, Hello. it's <laughs> Okay, Hello. give me two seconds. Hello. I need to put this into my tripod because it's just being a bit funny. I'm so sorry. All right. No, you're right. Don't stress at all. Can I'm I just look at my palm? <laughs> I'm oh. just finishing off your intro oh, anyway, so don't thank stress. You. <laughs> <laughs> um, so as I was saying, everyone, um, yeah, Alana is the beautiful mastermind behind the Lazy Girl Boss. And I like we know each other from way back. We did our um, we did the same coaching course through the Beautiful You Coaching Academy. And Alana's work is, it's something that I really, I respect and admire and I'm just so grateful for. Like, I'm so grateful that there's someone doing this work in the world, um, especially because it's something that I, like, I haven't touched on, but it's something that a lot of my clients struggle with. Um, and especially this idea of, like, I know a lot of what you do, Alana, is, like, confidence coaching and, um, you know, helping get your clients show up online, but especially going live on social media. Um, and I've got, like, a brief bio for you here that I'll just read out. Um, so Alana Shabog is the life coach and leading lady at the Lazy Girl Boss, a dream lab for girls who have let procrastination get in the way of launching their passion project and business. And I know Alana, you help, um, young women, especially like step out of their comfort zones and go live online. But do you have like a, a little bit of like, if you had to sum up what you do, um, in like a sentence, how would you do it? Yeah. Well, I'm, <clears throat> I definitely still work on the procrastination. Sorry. I've got a really <clears throat> croaky voice this morning. Um, but I have Thank definitely you. gone more into the whole confidence on live video, um, aspect of my business, which I'm really, really enjoying because it's so, there's so much more depth than what people think. So, yeah. Um, I would say, yeah, definitely right now in my business, I'm helping people show up online, especially on video. Yeah, so good, honey. And thank you thank so much you. again for coming on. Like, I just, I want to say to everyone before we start, like, this is, you know, going live online. I, like, if you're freaking out about it, and this is going to be mainly for the people that have never gone live before. If you, you know, you're sitting in that space of, I really have something I want to say. There's something I want to talk about. I know this is the next step for me, but I'm kind of freaking out about like actually hitting that button. So this is for you. Mm -hmm. And for those like guys and girls watching, like we so see you and we so hear you. Like I still, and I, I can only speak for myself here, but I still a hundred percent like freak out about going live 99% of the time. Like I still get yeah. butterflies. I still get nerves. Yeah, it's me a lot. too. It comes across, <laughs> yeah. Right. It comes across like so much more naturally now, but it's still like, it's still, um, yeah, it's still a big deal. Sorry, it's my dog's, my dog's joining in as well. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he needs to just bark right in the mood. Lenny. <laughs> he loves going that's live. That's what I mean. It's like, <laughs> it's not, you can't I mean. predict it's little it. things like this yeah. that it's like, yeah, exactly. And it's like little things like this where it's like, it's not the end of the world. It's not going to stop you from getting your message across. So this morning, like my intention for this for you guys is just to know that, 
to just be as real, raw, and honest as we humanly like possibly can with you guys, so that you kind of you know get that yeah, there's absolutely no rules when it comes to going live online, and um, you know if we can do it, you can. Yeah, so sure. beautiful, welcome, and thank you so thank much. Thank you for, for having here. me, and I will try and quieten my dog down because he's getting a bit loud. <laughs> this is live video for everyone. This happens all the time. It- it is it literally does um that's actually a really beautiful place to start so what's been your experience with going live like do you remember the first time that you ever went live online well I actually used to journalism was my background broadcast journalism and I actually used to be a presenter on a online shopping channel so it used to be it was probably the first instance of live video online actually back in 2000 and I think 14 or 13 um, before it was on social media. So that was my my first experience. And that was three hours at a time of stints of talking about jewellery. And this wasn't jewellery that was like suited me. It was for, for grandmas, but at, for some reason they'd cast a Vera 23-year-old to, to try and sell this. So it was a real challenge and I was thrown in the deep end and I had to keep talking and talking and talking. And then I'd have a one-minute break and then it would be back online again. So... It was definitely, um, I think that really prepared me for this whole new new life a few years later where I go online on social media. But in saying that, I was still terrified the first time I went on Instagram Live um, and it was such a rush but also so exciting and I left just being hooked and, and yeah, it was a beautiful experience. I love it. That's so cool. So what was it like? I guess that's a really natural transition for you going from being um, on, yeah, going from being in the media and we kind of have a similar background in terms of like, yeah, yeah journalism and media, that sort of stuff. I'd done a bit of yeah. like on-camera work before, but I don't think like, do you think that's a prerequisite for people being successful in this industry, like going on Facebook Live and Instagram Live? Like- yeah, definitely not. No. And it's, it, it, people okay. surprise yeah. themselves. I think people think, oh no, I'm not, I'm not good on camera. And they think that there's got to be sort of, you know, there's certain people that are good on camera and some people that aren't. And, you know, if you're shy and if you're introverted, you can't be good on camera, but people end up showing up and they they love it and they get hooked on it. So definitely <laughs> don't. Um, listen to that voice in your head that says that you're not this sort of person that's going to be, uh, you, know, uh, you know, you're not a show pony or you're not someone that's extroverted because it definitely surprises everyone, I think. That's so beautiful. And I literally, yeah, I had that exact experience yesterday. I was on a live with one of my beautiful girlfriends, Court, and she'd never done it before. And she was freaking natural. She was yeah, phenomenal. I was yeah. like, you've just uncovered a hidden gem. Like, you've just uncovered a gift that you didn't know you had. Like, yeah, how definitely. cool was that? Um, but I love what you said. And it's like, okay, so what are, that's a really good segue into what are some of the limiting beliefs that your clients really struggle with that sort of stops mm-hmm. them from, you know, showing up and doing live video or showing up on video altogether? What yeah. are some of the most common? It's so funny. They are very, I'm not going to say shallow, but very sort of such little things that really don't have any importance to them. So um, they worry about their voice, which is one thing that I worry about. I've got, I've got quite a whiny voice. <laughs> Back in journalism school, they said, you know, for radio, I had to really work on it because my voice is very high pitch, which is not, I guess, in, in you know, back in, in the journalism days, it wasn't ideal. So voice, uh, they don't like going when they have makeup on and they, you know, they don't want to put makeup on every day. Um, they're worried about the lighting, about um, just things that I guess people think, you know, traditional TV and camera, you know, maybe it was important back then, but for live video, you can be so raw and natural and that's why those things really don't matter. Um, but definitely the, the introverted shy thing is a big one, but I, I always remind them that, that so many actors, comedians, people on TV are introverted and it's because they can have a voice without people interrupting them because they're, they've sort of got this place to shine and that's why they love it. And that's why I know I'm introverted and that's why I love being on camera. So I always remind them that that's not really, um, you know, it doesn't really affect the way that they show up on camera at all as have to affect them. That's beautiful. Like yeah. introverts needing or like wanting that space to, yeah, to show up where they are and interrupt. That's so freaking cool. That's, just like, that's amazing. And that's so true. And that is so true. Like I, um, I've gotten more extroverted as I've gotten older, but I was definitely mm-hmm. sensitive, really sensitive, shy child and um, yeah. kept to myself a lot. And I sort of identified recently that like one of my highest values is expression and feeling like being yeah. self-expressed in lives is like one of the, you know, the biggest ways that I do that. That's awesome. Yeah, for sure. And I love that you said that, um, 
like it, it's kind of like we've thrown out the rule book in ter- like especially with you know instagram and facebook live it's like um there's no longer prerequisites there's no longer you have to do this or be this or look like this mm-hmm. to be to have a presence yeah online, definitely not following, yeah yeah That's for really sure cool. for sure <laughs> Awesome. So what, um, what was like your biggest thing? What was your biggest hang up about going live online? Like, yeah. especially when it comes to like Facebook Instagram. Oh, I would say, well, all those things I mentioned, I've felt myself. Like I, you know, I didn't say, like, oh, I want to put makeup on every day. I have days where I have no makeup on. I have to, do I have to do this and, and look a certain way or, you know, my lighting was, is yeah. really bad in my house. So I thought, oh no, I have to have that set. So all of those things are some things that I have gone through myself as well. And then also I think people just get scared and I've gotten scared that, you know, you'll lose your, you'll fumble on your words or you'll forget what you're saying. Um, but I always remind them that we do this in everyday life anyway. You know, if you're explaining something to someone or if you're telling a story, it's natural to be like, oh, you know, it's, it's, you're not going to be perfect <laughs> that way. So if you're, if you're going to be perfect online, it's going to not feel natural. So those things, just embrace them and just say, oh, I completely forgot what I'm talking about. And then, you know, it's, it's totally normal. And I think the more that, that you do that and the more you just show that you are just talking naturally and you're not, you haven't got this sort of mask on, the, the, the better the video is, in my opinion. So embrace those things. <laughs> yes oh my gosh that's so true and yeah like I say stupid shit when I'm online all the time (laughs) like quite literally and it's like I kind of I have this you know this secret hope that maybe one day someone will see me being an absolute goofball and like crazy and swearing or like having a fuck up online and be like well if she can show up in that way and if she can show up you know swear and with her hair a mess and like three double chins and whatever then maybe I can show up too. Like then maybe I yeah. can show up as my goofball crazy self. Like exactly. That's... It's just all encouraging people. And <laughs> I have had every single technical difficulty possible. Like there were moments where every live I did, something went wrong. And especially, you know, I had this thought, oh my God, I'm teaching live video and like, I can't, I can't have stuff ups, but it's just, it just shows that that's normal and it's okay if that happens because it's not planned. It's, you know, anything can happen. My yeah. dog was just barking and, you know, I can't, predict yeah. that so um that's the beauty yeah. of it I think <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing um so one of the biggest things that I know my clients struggle with and I've certainly struggled with in the past is this fear of being judged and the fear of what other people think of us mm-hmm. um is first of all is that something that you see with your clients when they're hesitant to show up online or like yeah. go big in their business and you know how do you guide them through that yeah definitely it's you know it starts with like oh what if my family and friends from high school this person that judges me sees it you know it always starts with that and I think it's the people we know that we worry about the most or people that we respect sometimes that we worry about um, and it's such a natural thing to mm-hmm. to feel like it's so natural to, to be to be scared of that and I just want to say don't you know don't think that you're being overly sensitive or anything like that it's 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 a very natural human experience but I would just say play the play the fear out you know if you were to speak to these people if the person that you are most scared of and I did a live about this the other day person that you're most scared to judge you because we've all got that one person that we kind of worry about you know if we're thinking okay you know there's everyone thinks it's just everyone in general but no there's just some people in your head that you're thinking oh my god if they saw this video that's a bit nerve-wracking so Think of that person and talk to them and tell them how much you love your business, how much you love your work and why this is important to you, even if it's just in your head. And when you do that, you're thinking, okay, I don't, all these judgments don't matter. So this is the most important thing. And it brings it back to what's really important, which is showing up online. Oh, I freaking yeah. love that. It's beautiful. <laughs> like have that conversation with them and like play yeah. out your fears. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Yeah. Um, why is it important for us to show up online? Like, why is it, um, I don't know, what are the benefits? Like, what are mm-hmm. the, you know, practically, but also like spiritually and for our own like self-expression? Why is it, why is it the best thing ever? Yeah, I think, like I said before, it's, it's a platform where you, you own, you own it, you own your social, I know social media yeah. owns the social media, but you, it's your space. <laughs> so you can really like, it, there's nothing more freeing than just being able to, to speak and, and not be interrupted. And I, for me, that's mm-hmm. been a real healing thing for me because if I'm in a big group, I, yeah. I, I'm not one to, to, you know, there, there will be times where people will speak over me and I'm not one to um to be the set in the center of the limelight so I think just go for it and see how you feel when when you're doing it you'll realize how 
like it's a transformation and everyone goes through that. They, they start off being very scared and they don't know what they're doing. And it's, and you know, the first time you might not, you might not love it. You might've been like, that was horrible. But the more you do it, the more you realize <laughs> it's really healing and it's really, sorry, there we go. I'm just uh, moving my camera around and it's a beautiful experience. And also we've all got a reason why we're in business, why we're, even if we're not in business, why we're showing up online, we've got a message. So this is your platform to actually share it. And there's no better way to do that than actually being not in the flesh, but people seeing you, hearing you on video. It's a perfect way to show up. So just remember that. That's so beautiful. That's yeah. (laughs) I could not agree more. That's amazing. And it's like, exactly right I remember my first live video and it's so funny I look back I've heard people speak before about seeing their first lives and cringing but I look back on my first live videos and I'm like I'm so freaking proud of you yeah. like I'm so yeah. freaking proud of that like 22 year old 23 year old woman who like moved through her fears and showed up anyway and yeah. there's a massive gap like it's astronomical and I'm so excited to see like the gap between you know th- these videos that we do now and the videos that we'll go on to produce and create in the future, yeah, like, in the next, definitely. Like, even year, yeah, yeah. Um, but I look back and I love, I love that I've still got those early videos. I love yeah. that I can see that the progression. Like one of my highest values is progress as well. So yeah, being able definitely. to, and for everyone, like being able to see the progress. Yeah. Um, what do you think when you like look back on your very first live that you've done now, or even Ooh. like the earlier stuff that you've done? Yeah, well, I um, I don't even know if I've got my first live. I, think, I don't think I saved it. <laughs> I didn't know how to do that at that point. I was like, ah, <laughs> speaking, okay. Um, but no, I'm the same. I feel so proud of the fact that I was more terrified, but I still did it. And I think that's the most important thing. You're still doing it. And I have a show reel from my presenting days and it is it's very cringy. People like it's, I, I laugh at it when I see it, but I'm still, I still love it because it's so, it shows the goofy side to me and, and all of that. And, um, and I think you, you learn to embrace that as you go along. So yeah, you will be so proud of yourself when you go live for the first time, because it's just that once you do it for the first time, you've sort of hit a milestone. So it's definitely something to be proud of. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. And I think, yeah, exactly what you said at the beginning as well. Once you do that first video, there is a rush that comes with it. There's mm-hmm. that beautiful mm-hmm. sense of satisfaction and achievement. That's kind of hard to top. Like, yeah. I, and that hasn't gone away. Even like I've been showing up online, like live, especially in doing videos for the last probably two, two years. And that hasn't yeah. gone away. I still get that beautiful, like, ah, oh, this feels so freaking good. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and I feel like you lose like, I used to care more if, if I really stuffed, if I felt like I stuffed up alive. Whereas now I'm just like, eh, like I just don't, you just tend to not care so much. <laughs> it's like, it's yeah. okay, it's fine. If anyone judges you, that's their right to judge you, but that's fine. Then you just move on. Yeah. So um, the more you do it, the, the better. So I feel like just flex that muscle, keep showing up, even if it's just doing, practicing video on your phone um, and not showing anyone, but just, just get used to being yeah. on, on video because it's really nothing different than to just talking to someone in real life. And I think it's when we put down that sort of like people just think it's so different and they end up showing up not themselves because they're sort of like, how yeah. am I supposed to be? And there's all of these prerequisites in their head. So when you are just showing up yeah. as if you're talking to your best friend, um, that's when yeah. all the magic happens. So practice getting that feeling and and feeling like okay so I'm talking to someone who really cares about me respects me how do I show up for them beautiful and having that in your head when you speak yeah Yeah, really that's amazing just to encourage a little bit of um what's called feedback on this video if you guys are on live can you drop us an emoji please just some hearts or some eggplant come say hi (laughs) (laughs) oh I love that (laughs) Yeah, anyway, but um, yeah, drop us an emoji, give us some hands up emoji. Come and say um, hi. Yes, definitely pop in and say hello. And also if you have any questions, um, feel free to pop them in the comments, but we will come back to the comments at the end because we have an epic challenge for you guys. Um, but that feeds in really nicely. Speaking of feedback, mm-hmm. what sort of, what feedback have you gotten? Like what really positive feedback have you gotten from showing up online that you wouldn't have gotten otherwise? Hi, Jody, that you wouldn't have gotten otherwise or... Um, what are comments that have made it all worth it for you? Yeah, I think people just being able to actually see my personality where they probably couldn't of in a in a post on Instagram or in a photo. And I think that's where, like, there's so many 
strange parts of my personality that you can't <laughs> and I think everyone has these really kooky sides of themselves that that I think is so important when you have a business or when you when you want to coach people so I think when you just show those sides and I feel like video brings that out so well people are like oh I really liked that and they can really connect with you as well so um that's why I love video so much Oh, a hundred percent. It just takes away like the bullshit facade as well. Yeah, like, definitely. Like I think, I don't know, sometimes when you're reading blog posts and when you spend, and I get that I, I spent hours like editing posts and, you know, blog posts, not so much anymore, but I did. But it's like, I don't know, people might build up this idea in their head of who someone is. And it's like mm. video has the potential, not always, but it has the potential to strip all that back. Yeah. And to, you're right, to get, like the quirks, to get to the nitty gritty of who someone is. And those little nuances and personality that make someone fall in love with you. Yeah, And that's definitely. what it was for me. Like these little things that, and I've seen some of my clients show up on video and I'm like, this is like, this is how I see you. Like this yeah. quirky, funny, hilarious. And they often don't see it. But when I watch them back, and when I watch them engage with the audience online, I'm like, holy, like, I just fall in love with them yeah. all over again. And yeah. Such like a, I love you slut when it comes to this <laughs> I really do I just fall slut. in love with them all over again. I love again. it. Uh... <laughs> but it, it really I want to Like, it well. gives, yeah. Yeah. It's the best way to be. But uh... it really does give you that opportunity to, yeah, to see the little nuances in someone's mm-hmm. personality that, and just like not to be afraid to let those little things out, like let the crazy out. Like yeah. I, I think I did it like a video yesterday, me dancing around my lounge room. And it was genuinely because I was yes. so excited. That's what I do when I'm excited anyway. So I was like, why the hell not? You can like, just show it. In. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's why I really, when people come to me and they say, oh, so like it's all the technical questions. Like, oh, you know, where do, where do I look in the camera and all this sort of stuff. And I'm just like, it doesn't matter like to begin like that's not the obviously that those are things you can work on but it's not the important thing it's it's about how you're showing up and showing up as authentic as you can and I think you can really tell in a video when someone is and when someone sort of um, I guess and people do this without even realizing it and I've probably done it many times but sort of copying other people without realizing it because they're uncomfortable so getting comfortable is the most important thing when it comes to showing up I think Oh, I love that. And I've so done that. Yeah, I've yeah. so, like, tried to, not even tried to, but just unconsciously started, like, copying my favourite YouTubers. Um, yeah. But just yeah. being really mindful of, like, what you're watching and what you're consuming as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and, yeah, getting, like, super comfortable. I love that. I'm always, like, how can I, yeah, show up in, like, as the most me I can possibly be and, like, work, mm-hmm. like, how would I feel, feel the most comfortable show up this morning? Hence yeah. why I have my... Oh, I love it. And you always are completely yourself on video. And that's why I love watching your videos because you just, there is no facade. It's just like, it's me. We're just going to hang out today. And I love that. <laughs> Thanks. Honey. Really beautiful. Um, transitioning into Instagram stories, because this is a big mm. one that I actually really struggle with. And I know a lot of my, um, like my tribe and my clients do as well. But I had this belief that like showing up on Insta stories and like posting little snippets of my day, it felt really good. And I really wanted to do it. I was excited about it. It was a genuine like desire of my heart to show up in this way. But I had this belief that like, no one wants to see that. No one Mm. wants to see what you had for breakfast. No one wants to see your bullshit latte. No one wants to know how you're feeling. No one wants to. And it's kind of this belief that like, I've, I've heard people say that I've heard people, you know, post seeing people posting ranting statuses on Facebook about, you know, don't show us your breakfast, like who Mm. gives a shit and all of this sort of stuff. But I genuinely, I don't know, like I had that desire in my heart. So Mm. what, um, you know, what would you say around that? And like, how did you sort of move through that? And why is it important for us? Why, if, if you think it is, like, do you think it's important for us to show up with those little snippets throughout our day on Insta stories? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. So there, and there are people that still say, don't show things that aren't, you know, relevant and things like that. It is still yeah. very sort of, people have different opinions on this, but I think um, yeah. you think about the people that you really look up to and the people that you get to know online, you do want to see all of that. I do. I'm like, Oh, I, I feel like I'm with them in the day. You know, they could be on the other side of the world and I'm still there. So I think if it's something yeah. that's making you happy, if it's something that's been a big part of your day, then definitely show it. And stories is, that's what stories are all about. You know, you probably wouldn't show something mm-hmm. like that on an Instagram post and just say like, like we did probably back in 2012, like coffee and just have that you know, <laughs> posted up there. But it, <laughs> I'm sure I used to do that. Like coffee, like just wait one word posts, which is still fine, but um, we probably wouldn't think to do that on our posts anymore. But in our stories, yeah, that's what it's all about. It's, it's, you know, you're following, you're letting people follow your day. So 
definitely. And if people don't want to see it, they don't have to watch it. If people do want to see it, they will be watching it. So do what makes you happy. Oh, so good. So, so good, honey. Yeah, that's exactly right. I could, I could not agree more. Um, I'm just trying to think what it, like, I had a million and one questions that I wanted to ask you. Okay, this is a really good one. What was, like, the biggest mindset shift you had or, like, what goes mm-hmm. through your head right before, like, what are you telling yourself right before you go live? Like, I know, yeah. so I pray before oh, every live video it. that I do. Like I say, like, I say a prayer. I've got, like, a mm-hmm. specific one. Otherwise, I'll just, like, give it all up and be, like, you know, do whatever you want with me, through me, around me, <laughs> me. Um, just, like, help you be the high service. But mm-hmm. what do you do before you go on that helps you press press record oh I think I have to get into a real like calm state and I I I can't I'm not one that can just um just jump on and you know I I need to like there has to be a thought in my head that makes me feel as calm as I can before I press um live so I think whatever that is for you and it's different for everyone obviously for you it's it's praying and and we all have that different thing that just makes us think okay I'm ready to do this and even if it's just talking to yourself in your head which I do a lot or out loud because I've talked to myself all the time um (laughs) but just get just getting into that state where you feel completely calm so then when you press live you are yourself and I think you know and it's it's fine to show up and be a little bit flustered but just show that just whatever it is that's yeah. going to make you feel yourself I think is the most important thing when you're pressing live and it's going to be different for everyone yeah, so sorry. figure out what yours is beautiful do yeah. you have like a specific actually I'll come back to that in a sec I actually yeah I love that like calling it out and acknowledging how you feel like if you yeah. are having a moment of nerves acknowledging it I mm. never thought I could do that like yeah. I always thought okay I have to do it in my head I'll have to breathe through it but I literally um I was watching one of my beautiful another beautiful girlfriend go live the other day and she was getting out of breath and she was like oh wow I'm really sorry you guys like I, I'm noticing some you know some tension coming up when I'm speaking about this and I was like lord I was like holy shit yeah. like how vulnerable first of all I so yeah. respect that yeah. how like authentic to open up and invite us in and what an honor to sort of witness someone in that and witness someone acknowledging their emotions which then gave me permission to acknowledge and you know express yeah. mine as well yeah so definitely it's just epic. yeah um do you so one of my favorite affirmations especially if i'm freaking out about going live on stories or um you know posting little bits about my day is people are obsessed with knowing what i'm up to like yeah. that's it's an amanda friend one and i love you oh i love it what's your like <laughs> what's your go-to <laughs> affirmation do you have any that you love oh um mine is because I feel like I am my most myself when I'm having fun so mine is just the more fun I have the more the 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 more my ideal client will come to me so I just want to have fun and I like the goofier I am the 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 more I am myself I consider myself like Bridget Jones like I do I fall over (laughs) I do crazy like I'm just I love her so much because that's I feel like that's me um I'm a bit more shy than her I can't speak my mind as much which I I, I admire that about her but I just yeah being like making a fool of myself I actually really enjoy it so I feel like as long as I'm having fun that's that that is my natural state so whatever your natural state is you know think about what what it is first of all because we all have different sort of yeah. ways of being that really feel good to us and then make sure you can get into that way and if it's with our affirmations or praying or whatever it is mm-hmm. but make sure you can get into that state for your live video because that's what's going to bring out your personality as well beautiful oh yeah. so good so good do you like do you subscribe to the idea of like feel the fear and do it anyway like I know a lot of coaches mm-hmm. teach about like okay just show up just do it scared just push through the fear and kind of do it anyway was that your experience or do you have like another way of going yeah down? I think with video yes but then also I think people feel pressured to and I always say this jump on a 30 minute live video and they've never done one before and I say you know you yeah. can start you can start small you can start in baby steps you don't have to do that you know you don't have to um and I was doing a live with with Keely um she's from beautiful you as well uh, just before we were saying like yeah. it's it, you don't compare yourself to someone who has been doing that for many a year or so and is comfortable getting on a 30 minute live video if it's just saying hello on your insta story that is a beautiful place to start yeah. and it's a perfect way to start and I feel like people can sometimes scare themselves out of, you know, having a bad experience because we've all had, you know, most of us have had a bad experience with public speaking. And I feel like that's where this fear is really starting, you know, back in school when we stuffed up a, a presentation or something like that. And all of those fears are sort of still lying in there. So if you jump on and do a live and it doesn't go the way you want it to, um, because you, I guess maybe you weren't completely ready, sometimes it's better to start small. 
but we're all different and some yeah. people love just doing it you know I think I think it just depends on yeah. you and and I think some people to get to get it get it done they have to just do it so I think it's very tailored uh, specifically per person as well that's so beautiful and that's exactly right it's like what do you need to do to get it done like mm-hmm. what do you what environment do you need to create what mindset shifts do you need to like have that's gonna yeah to get it done to get it out there because that's the most important thing yeah um, definitely and I just want to like can we just talk about just how freaking important this is because mm-hmm. I'm I don't know I'm very big picture like when I think about this stuff when I yeah, think like too. we're not just talking about going live on Instagram yeah we're not just talking about like grow your followers or you know can like make more sales or connect with your audience yeah Hi, Bonnie we're literally like can you sort of like I guess like feed into and just for you guys watching like this is so none of this is scripted like none of this I just want to like really touch on that because this is like the power of authentic conversation is like Mm -hmm. well you just sort of like let go and let whatever it is wants to move that wants to move through you these beautiful conversations just happen really organically and I'm just just super grateful for the space to do that this morning um but yeah so like can you touch on I don't know the big picture behind this yeah it's just so freaking Definitely. And I think that's why I've just been so passionate about um, doing this coaching because it does sound very narrow. It does sound quite shallow. It sounds, oh, you just talk about video, but it's, it affects your life in every aspect. When you can show up and, and, you know, get rid of those fears and just talk about what you're passionate about on a video and, and not do it without worrying about what people think. Like it's changed my life. I don't worry about what people think in other areas anymore, you know, as much. I really don't. So I think in terms of obviously it it changes your business and and it can help grow your business and, 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 you know, change your life that way, but also in your personal development. And that's why I love doing it because I, I can see such a transformation when people actually just let go and they're just able to just talk on live and and get rid of that fear and even you know and there will be people that will be judging you that's the thing when you realize that there will be but you still do it anyway that's where the magic really starts I think in your personal development and that's what I love oh that's beautiful oh my gosh that's amazing Mm -hmm. okay I want to I think I want to draw attention to that not in like not as a way to sort of make it any bigger than it needs to be but have mm-hmm. you had any sort of negative feedback just so we can sort of like get it all out there because that's people's worst fear or yeah. my worst fear like someone's gonna jump on my live and like rip me to shreds yeah like, someone's yeah. gonna say something negative someone's gonna bitch about me behind my back like have you had any experiences like that like what happened yeah so i probably i used to be upset when people didn't watch the video like when people weren't showing up on live and that's a big thing that people get upset about they're like, oh man no one's no one's showing up and that's completely fine like these videos are up there they're still going to be you know people yes. will still watch them months later and say oh i love this video and you're yep. like oh no no one showed up mm-hmm. live but they love it there you know and and it's all yes. a process. So that's probably what I used to worry a lot about. But now um, I definitely have people that have watched videos maybe in the past that have commented. Um, I yeah. used to just I used to just love showing up on, on YouTube and doing like, um, and I wasn't into beauty or anything, but I used to just do reviews on things and people found that weird. And I've had someone say that was really weird. And it's funny when it actually happens, you just don't really care as much like you know that the, the fear of that is really really real and you're like oh my god imagine if someone came up to me and said your video is weird but when it actually happens you're like oh okay I enjoyed it like it, it's surprising how much when it happens in the flesh you don't really I don't know why it is but you just don't um it's the, the idea of it's more scary than the actual it happening and that's why I tell people play it out in your head if this was to happen mm-hmm. and everyone that does that exercise, when it actually, when they're playing it out in their head, they're like, oh yeah, I don't think I would really, really mind that much. I wouldn't think I would care because that's me and I enjoyed it. And I, you know, I know that I need to do this to grow my business and to reach my, my, my people. Mm-hmm. And, and so I think um, it is one of those things where you make it bigger than it really is. So well, that's for me. Definitely. Yeah, I make it bigger than it is. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I completely <laughs> Yeah, yeah it's always um it's it's a defense mechanism like I'm like our biggest fear is being cast out from the tribe and the collective and not mm-hmm. belonging anymore and I think um yeah our ego likes to construct that idea around that specifically it's like yeah that fear of judgment yeah. um but yeah you're exactly right it's always yeah it's always a lot bigger in your head yeah amazing yeah um do you have okay so first steps like mm-hmm. someone is sitting here going oh my god I really want to do this there's that beautiful little spark inside them being like okay this is our next right step this is the next thing that we want to do 
first steps? Like what do they do um, to go from sort of self-doubt to showing up? I would say, and and I I did say this before, but in terms of um, baby steps, like if you want to do, like right now, for example, I am having a time in my life. I want to live with someone that I love, Jay, and I feel comfortable. So if, you know, do whatever you need to do just to get it done, like we said before. So um, show up on live with someone else. You'll feel, you'll still be able to feel at the rush, but you'll feel a bit more comfortable. But if you've got a real calling to do the live, just show up and say, hi, introduce yourself. Um, whatever you need to do just to say, okay, I've done a live. I think that's like, and I think people are like, okay, what, what topic can I, can I talk about? What can I, what can be my first official live? What can I, and all of that stuff, it's just going to stop you from um, doing it because you'll get caught up in your head and then you'll worry too much about it. So literally show up, say hi. I'm Alana Shegog. I love this, 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 this. I love, I love speaking to you guys. I hope you have a beautiful day and live video. And it's going to seem you a bit silly and you can delete it right after, but you've, you've done a live video. You've felt that you've done it. Um, and then the next time you do it, you're going to feel so much more comfortable. So just get started. That, that would be my advice beautiful. after that ramble. So good. <laughs> just do it. Just no, do it. So yeah yeah yeah, that's amazing and we have a challenge for you at the end you guys but we're gonna leave that for a couple minutes until we get to the end yeah um I like you just I think you don't also like opening yourself up like you don't know what wants to come through that is just waiting to come through when you do that Mm, like mm -hmm. I've had so many instances and my prayer is always like before I show up on one of these things it's always like okay use me God that I might know the joy of being used by you. And it might be whatever it is for you, universe, God, high self source, like just move through me, like infinite source of all energy and wisdom, like just move through me, just co-create with me, just do whatever you want to do. And there's been times where I've quite literally had, like, I wouldn't call them out of body experiences, but definitely experiences. Like a lot of the time I sort of not disconnect, but I don't necessarily associate with the words that are coming out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like this, something takes over or something comes out and it's still me it's still me speaking it's still my ideas it's still my opinions it's still my deepest innermost thoughts but you're Mm -hmm. accessing a new level that you kind of really can't access without that beautiful arena in which to allow it to come through so it's like you don't you don't know what's waiting to come through you it's like open your you know open yourself up to the possibility that something even greater than you know what you could say or what you could do wants to come through you in this moment and often like I've had some of the most beautiful experiences with channeling and things like that on live videos exactly like this where I just get out of my own way and um, just let whatever it is wants to come through me and you'll start speaking about something you have an idea about oh I should talk about this and then I can talk about this and then I can talk about this and yeah all of a sudden you've got this epic like 15 20 half an hour video that people you know really respond to and connect with and adds massive value to their lives so it's like and I love what you said before it's like these are going to be up you know these can be up for ages like this is going to be on YouTube this is going to be on Facebook and Instagram and yeah. it doesn't matter if um, no one sees it straight away. It's, you know, that content creates that beautiful library of information that people can come back to. Yeah, definitely. Um, getting and then, yeah, receiving from your Yeah, work. and I think when you're starting out, sometimes it's kind of good that you can just sort of know that, you know, you might not get as big an audience and you can just be comfortable. And I think that's where, obviously I've said that this many times on this one live, but that's where the magic happens. And, and what you were saying before, where you just speak without even, you know, you've got no inhibitions, that's when you're most comfortable. So if, you know, and doing those lives and having no one show up on them, you, you're going to get really comfortable doing them. So don't worry about that at all. It's not even the important part of it at all. If no one shows Beautiful. up. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Do you have comments on or comments off? Do you see people um, come up like when yeah, you're doing lives? I do. And that was one thing that I, because the other side of it, like I have had experience when I did that, that um, shopping channel thing, which was terrifying. So I, I kind of, everything else was like, okay, I've kind of got this. I, I've done it before, but the comments, I was like, like <laughs> I used to get, so, and I still do sometimes I get so distracted, but um, in terms of technical things, if they are distracting you, definitely just in your head say, okay, there's going to be a time where I'm going to address them. Um, but yeah. I can do that when I've gotten yeah. all of my information out. So that's just the sort of technical thing if people are, are getting distracted by them. Because I used to get excited, but then I would sort of the flow of my information would stop because I'd be like, <laughs> oh, hello. And then, oh, okay, where was I ta- what was I talking about? So, you know, and if you, if you, in your head you're saying, okay, we'll address the comments, but at a separate time, that makes it a lot easier. 
Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> that's hilarious. So true. I get distracted. Uh, <laughs> um, what do you do? Like, what? Like damage control. Like worst case scenario, mm-hmm. something happens. The dog barks. Someone mm-hmm. comes into the room. Like, just uh, what do you do in those moments? Like, what do you do? Yeah. You know, your worst fears are realized, and te- te- the tech stuffs up. Whatever. Whatever oh, it is. So many times for me. Um, just- <laughs> And on planned lives, like ones where a lot of people were showing up, the tech has completely just stuffed up multiple times. So it happens to everyone. Just own it. Just say, oh, gosh, guys, I'm so sorry. Like this is, you know, every every single comment that I've had on these videos, everyone's like laughing, like, you know, not, not at me, with me, but just they're just, yeah. you know, they're saying, oh, it's so funny. Oh, they're supporting me. Oh, no. You know, like it's, it's there's never anyone being like, oh, this is this is crap. Your, you know, your text, you need to be fixed that like there's never any of that so um and if there is like you you know what to say you know what to you know it's not this is something that's not planned so every single person's gone through this so um just own it as much as you can I think when you're awkward about it when you're when you're trying to hide it that's when people are disconnected because they're like what is she what is she doing like what is this or you know but when you're like okay cool my phone's not working or I forgot to charge my phone and it's gonna die you know all those things um I love that I'm using that as an example because I'm really bad at charging my phone (laughs) so people that know me will be like oh god a lot of um but yeah just own it own it and you'll get a really good response I promise when you own it yeah, that's so beautiful. It is just like drop the attachment to all yeah. of the bullshit stories that we tell ourselves that say that we have to be professional or be better or be whatever. It's just like let go of that because yeah. it's the ego. Like it's all coming from mm-hmm. the ego, the ego that wants to separate us and make us feel like we're better or worse than anyone else or put yeah. us in a hierarchy or level or whatever. So yeah, definitely. Just um, yeah, just drop it and yeah, allow it. Like you, it's safe to be. It's safe to be you. It's safe to yeah. be you online. It's safe to be like this who you really are. I just want to touch on what you said before because it's so like this idea of it being healing. This is like mm. a revelation for me. And it just touched me so much. I didn't really realize until just now how healing this whole thing has been for me. Oh, like showing up and I being myself. Yeah. What's it? So what has it done for you? And where's the? You know, what can people get excited about? Young people yeah. especially, and everyone. What can we all get excited about experiencing? Um, going on this journey yeah I think it's going to be a little bit different for everyone like I said before like I am a people pleaser I worry about what people think so much and I've (laughs) really healed that with live video I've really been like because I'm doing the most scary thing like people that aren't in this online business or that don't have been don't really would never think to go live they they they're like whoa like that is I can't imagine doing that. And so you are really putting yourself out there and you're being so vulnerable. And we know that vulnerability in life in general is just so important for us. So I think if we're doing it in this way, which is massive, just think about how much that's going to help us in life. So like no no matter what, it's going to help you. So just remember that even if you feel terrified at the time, even if you hate your video and you want to delete it and you feel like you get vulnerability hangover, it's all going to help you. So I think when you remember that, it's like, okay, I I can do this. It's good for me. Oh, that's so beautiful. And it's just like a big breath out. And we seriously Mm, need to do a whole nother video on vulnerability hangovers. Yeah. That is a real thing. Yeah, yeah. That's a real thing. (laughs) Oh, I I get massive. (laughs) Yeah, for sure. Okay, I could actually sit here and do this all day. Um, this has just been so joyful and beautiful, and I'm just yeah, so I indebted agree. and so I've grateful to you. Oh, but you are so like the way that you can like. I didn't send through any pre questions. We didn't. We, like, we we chat as friends normally, but um, we sort of haven't had this conversation before. It's really just the fact that you can speak so openly and honestly about it, just and so eloquently about it, straight from the, just to me, like it's coming straight from the heart. So thank you oh, so much. Oh, thank for, you. For sharing and I would say with please. that, like I'm not good. I, I would say I quite enjoy public speaking, but I, in a group of people, yeah. when I'm being asked a question, I can't do that so you'll be surprised you know if you feel like you can't do that in life and you're not going to be able to do it on video you probably will be able to like I think everyone's really different and Mm -hmm. and when you can't do something in this side of our arena you can do it in this arena so just give it a go Mm because that's why I love the work I do because I see people that are like me that are can be so awkward in group situations (laughs) and I like if someone was to ask me a random question I sometimes I'm just like oh I'm freezing up people looking at me like you know and so but then when I get on a stage or in front of a camera I I can express myself so it's probably the same for you if you're in my boat so 
Just give it a go. Yeah. Be my number one thing. Just try it. <laughs> Do it. Amazing. <laughs> Yeah, it's the same with anything. Like, you don't know until you try it. And Mm -hmm. clarity around it, like, comes from one of my favorite quotes. Like, clarity comes from engagement, not thought. So Mm -hmm. it's, like, trusting that, you know, you have as much of a right to have a voice as absolutely anyone Mm -hmm. on this planet. If there's Mm -hmm. something on your heart to share, then you're meant to share it. Like, if there's a message that you have to give the world, then there are people who need to hear it. Like, full stop, end of story. If you're feeling this calling, then there's a reason. Like, your desires were given to you by the divine for a reason. So, um you know, yeah, you have not just a right, but for me, it's like a divine responsibility to show yeah. up and to yeah, share that definitely. with the world as well. Oh, and you're so good at uh, that. Now, honey girl. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, beautiful. All right, honey girl, I am going to, I'm going to talk about your beautiful strategy sessions that you're offering in a minute, but I yeah. just wanted to open the floor up to you. If there, is there anything that you want to say or Ooh. what's hot on your heart at the moment? Like what, you know, what do you want to express? What do you want to share? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Now I'm being put on the spot. Um, I, <laughs> I've shared so much of what I wanted to in this, in this live. And I think that's, a, you're an amazing interviewer. You've got your journalism skills are still there. I love it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would just say start your journey and, and it's going to look different for everyone. But like you said, when you've got something to share and you are scared about the technical things like the, oh my God, I'm, I'm not going to look pretty on video or, oh, I don't have great hair. It's just, it's going to get in the way of, of beautiful things to come down the track. So th- do the best you can to be your most comfortable, your most supported all the time outside of, you know, business and video. And I feel like when you create a life where you've got these amazing people around you that really love you for who you are, you can show up so much more on camera. So that's probably my biggest piece of advice is to like, it's all connected. It's not just, you know, random video over here and business over here and it's, you, it's your life. So if you can sort of put the pieces together in terms of, you know, being, supported by the best people, supporting yourself, being nurturing yourself and really sort of getting to know yourself. That's when it all comes to, that's where the magic happens. I've said it like 10 times and I'm going to keep saying it. <laughs> Give me your tagline from now on. Yeah. <laughs> where where the magic the happens. happens. <laughs> I love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> but holy, like, holy F, that is so, it's so true. It is all, like it genuinely is all connected. Mm-hmm. And I love that you touched on like how, this is just like, and as with everything, like it's a microcosm of something so much bigger. And mm, it's like, if you're mm-hmm. freaking out about showing up, showing up in video, like where else in your life are you sort of not showing up? Where else are you like yeah. in your life? You're not speaking your truth. Where else in your life are you not communicating in the way that like as expressively or openly? Yeah. As you yeah. Be I love that. Relationships? Or where do you yeah. not feel safe to do that as well? Cause yeah. like, that's um, a really big thing that and a child wants to know, like, am I safe to show up and do this? Mm. Am I safe to do this? And you are, of course you are. You're always supported. Oh, amazing. All right, you guys, seriously, go over. Alana is offering free strategy sessions for any coaches yes. who want to up their confidence mm-hmm. around showing up online. Go over and connect with her. I'd how love to see. How can we get in contact with you and how can we claim one of these beautiful sessions? Yeah, well, I can pop the link down below for the sessions. Um, so it'll just be a strategy session and it sounds really boring, a strategy session, but it really is just <laughs> going into your fears, going into how you can really showcase what kind of coaching that you do. Um, And I think that's the next step. Once you've gotten over that fear, it's actually being able to go onto a live video and say, this is what, this is what I can do for you. This is my coaching. So uh, we go through all of that. So I'll, I'll pop the link down below um, where you can book a free session and yeah, we'd love to connect with you. I love coaches, my favorite people. (laughs) Oh my God. That's freaking phenomenal. Seriously, guys, go and do that. I don't do like, I don't, I don't do that. I don't offer that. I don't talk about that sort of stuff. So seriously, go and like do one of those. That's amazing. That's uh, seriously phenomenal. Thanks, and it is like that's such a beautiful way to um to take that first step. And like mm. we know, obviously, the power of the coaching process, being coaches ourselves, and having been through the process with like a billion coaches ourselves too. Mm-hmm. Um, there's something so powerful about getting belly to belly with with the coach, someone that's really going to call you on your stuff, but also just hold you accountable, like. I always say, like, be that invitation to rise. And it's like, mm-hmm. that's what a coach does for me anyway. They hold the energy and vibration of my next level self and then invite me to step up and, you know, invite me energetically, but also, mm-hmm. like, practically and physically and spiritually and emotionally, whatever, mentally, um, the mindset she's saying to make. But, yeah, invite me into my next level, like, the next level upgrade my identity. It's yeah. just like, oh, it's the best thing ever. 
Okay, beautiful. Um, now, is there anything else before I wrap up? Oh, I don't. I don't think so. I think that. I think we we, we <laughs> okay. covered a lot in this. Um, yeah, beautiful. I think we covered a lot, and I'm, I'm so know. grateful for you for for letting me pop onto your live. Pop onto your live. Oh. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> All right, now Alana and I have a challenge for you guys. Yes, we do. Live, in a... <laughs> we've got some people coming up. Hi, Ash. Hi, Zana. Hi, Ned. Hi. Um, yeah, we've got some really beautiful people popping on live with us. So give us an emoji. Let us know how you're feeling. But if you're watching the replay as well, type a replay in the comments so that we know that you're playing along with us. But we have a challenge for you now. And this is like, it's so funny. I always get like, not so awkward talking about this stuff, but I always want to encourage like the next steps because it's like mm -hmm. you've seen this video, you're all inspired, you're all excited, and it's like, well, fuck then now, where what? do I like, go? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Trying to implement this, but this yeah. is like why I was like, okay, we are going to set a challenge to you guys, and mm -hmm. this is what I'm just so excited about. Okay. Your challenge, should you choose to accept it from Alana and I, is to go <laughs> on and film a live video on Facebook or Instagram mm -hmm. today or by the end of this week. So I think today's Thursday. So by, yeah. let's say by Friday. Let's okay. say by Friday because then you've got the day. <laughs> um, by Friday this week to go live on one of your social medias, choose Instagram or Facebook, whatever feels more natural and more loving and more supportive for you. Mm -hmm. And then tag us in the video. Um, talk about whatever the hell you want to talk about. You guys know whatever live is hot on your heart at the moment. Um, but then tag us in your video. Just do like a little hashtag like thanks. Um, the lazy girl boss and at Jay Schaefer, their Instagram Yay. handles. So Do you can it. tag us in those videos <laughs> and um, just let us know because we want to see. We yeah. want to know that this video has been like um, really super helpful and valuable. And we just absolutely love seeing more and more young people, especially like um, mm -hmm. empowered to really show up in this way. It's like, it's just, it's giving us a voice. It's giving us a platform. And like we've spoken about throughout this whole video, it's so much bigger than just going up. Yeah, um, definitely. Up online. And it can be really simple. It can literally be, don't overthink it. It can just be an introduction yeah. to yourself. So, and talking about weird shit, whatever you want. It can be anything. So yeah. just uh, yeah. take that step and tag us because we want to, we want to say hi and support you. Yay! Oh my gosh! All right, amazing. Tag us on Facebook, tag us on Instagram, and if this video was super helpful, make sure you share it with your friends as well. That's another thing that I'm like getting people to share. I was like, well, <laughs> but I love it now because it's like, of course, like, yeah. I love sharing shit with my friends because it makes them like me more. Like, exactly. <laughs> when you're when you're passionate about what you do and you know it can help people, you want people to share that with other people so definitely don't feel awkward about saying that at the end of your videos and your call to actions like we just said if you want to you know yeah. it's giving people a next step at the end of the video to actually implement this into their life so don't be afraid to yeah. to put a call to action as they say a, a you know invitation pretty much that's all it is oh amen sister girl I'm just like lit up from the inside out now oh thank me so, too so thank you I have so much like just so much love in my heart for you and I'm just Aww, so super grateful just thank you so much for showing up with us this morning and thank for all the work you. that you do oh thank you Jay and I'm right <laughs> back at you <laughs> <laughs> all right my love thanks so much for jumping on live with us if you're watching this over on YouTube I'll put all the info for Alana and myself in the description and we'll see you guys really soon bye love you honey